Hey, it's Trickton with Trickton's Gaming, showing you the best way to level your crafting skill lines in Elder Scrolls Online. In this video, I will show you where you can find an endless amount of items to deconstruct, which is the fastest way to level your crafting skill lines in ESO. And to give you a hint, it's not Evermore in Bankerai. Really quick, if you enjoy learning and teaching people about Elder Scrolls Online, subscribe to the channel. And if this video helps you, give the video a like so hopefully it can help someone else too. Now let's get into it. As I mentioned earlier in this video, when it comes to leveling your crafting skill lines, the best way to get inspiration is by deconstructing items such as armor and weapons. Now if you're thinking, back in the day I used to sit at the forge for hours crafting hundreds of iron daggers to level my blacksmithing. Yes, while crafting items does provide some inspiration, you can get even more inspiration from deconstructing placed items. So in order to start deconstructing items, we first need to travel to a spot with an unlimited number of weapons and armor to deconstruct. Instead, you should travel to Valen Harbor in Malabar Tor. Valen Harbor is a town that is under siege by warriors and orcs. Now, before you save the town and become the hero of the story, there's a large number of items placed throughout the city that you're able to take and deconstruct. Once you get to the Valen Harbor Way Shrine, continue into the city and clear out the ads that are hanging out around the tents and crafting stations. Once everything is clear, you will notice a large amount of items sitting on the tables ripe for the picking. If you are unable to pick up the weapons, go into your settings and turn off Prevent Stealing Placed Items under the Gameplay tab you should then be able to pick up the items that are on the racks and tables. Once you've cleared out all of the items, log out and then log back in. By doing this, you will reset all of the surrounding area and the racks and tables will be full of more items. Continue taking items until your bags are full. Once your inventory is full, travel over to the Outlaw's Refuge that is located behind the Mage's Guild in Valen Harbor. Continue inside and speak with the fence to launder all of the stolen items. If you don't have the gold to launder all of the items, you may want to first sell all of the stolen items to get the gold. Just make sure if you decide to do this, that you go back around the city and fill up your inventory with more items to launder. Continue to do this until your ledgerman is level 3. At level 3, you will want to put a point in Trafficker, which will increase the amount of fenced transactions per day by 120%. This will allow us to launder 110 items per day instead of the original 50. Once you have finished fencing all of the stolen items, continue over to the crafting stations. Before we start deconstructing everything, you want to check two things. The first is to make sure that you have 45 champion points in the Inspiration Boost skill tree. This will increase the amount of inspiration we receive when deconstructing items. The second is to put 50 points in Meticulous Disassembly this will increase the chances of us getting materials back after we deconstruct items. Now that that's done, start deconstructing items until you hit level 4 on any of the crafting skill lines. At level 4, you'll want to put points into the extraction skill line, which is like meticulous disassembly in which we will increase the chances of us getting items back after deconstructing other items. Once you have points in those, continue deconstructing. When you run out of things to deconstruct, travel back to the Valen Harbor and continue filling up your bags with items. Unfortunately, once you have reached the limit for your fence transactions for the day, you will need to wait until it resets as deconstructing stolen items does not give the same amount of XP that normal items do. Once the fence has reset, continue filling up your bags and laundering the stolen items. Once the items are laundered, deconstruct them. Do this until you hit level 8 on your Ledgerman. At level 8, you will want to put another point in Trafficker, which will increase the amount of fence transactions per day by 140%, which will allow us to launder more items per day. Continue leveling up your Crafting and Ledgerman skill lines until they hit level 50. If you would like to continue deconstructing items, you can sell the raw materials you get in Guild Traders for additional gold. Watch this video to find out how to join trading guilds in ESO. If this video has been slightly helpful, give the video a like, and if you would like to see more tips and tricks like this for MMOs like Elder Scrolls Online, subscribe to the channel, 
and hit that notification bell so you're notified when the next video comes out. And until next time, happy crafting.